Hello, my name is Carol Pluckers. I'm the artistic director of a company called Boathouse. We're a community interest company based here in the London borough of Barking and Dagenham. And our project is called A Thousand Beautiful Balconies. I live here and work here as an artist, as do many of my friends and colleagues. And something became very clear to me very early on, that many people who have balconies do not really see them as special spaces. And I came up with the idea that we could create a project, an artistic and gardening green project, to help and support communities engaging with each other and seeing these special little spaces as somewhere they could truly express themselves and that would be great for their well-being and imaginations. I'm going to take you now up onto the terrace of the Bow House. This is where we're based in Barking. We have a beautiful terrace that looks out over onto the river, the river roading that leads up to the Thames. Um, we have a fabulous new cafe and here are a group of local residents who are artists and creatives and together have come together to, to create the Thousand Beautiful Balconies project. So the, the Beautiful Balconies project will take place over a year and will happen here, particularly on this road where there are 4,500 homes. By 2020, Barking and Dagenham will have 35 flats, which means 35 opportunities to create special spaces and to use imagination. I'd like to share, we, we did a little experiment in the summer just to get people aware of what they might be able to do, whether it's planting geraniums or doing sculpture or creating music. Um, and my friends and colleagues here helped to create something and we had something like 500 people who saw our little, our little exhibition. Um, I'd like to pass over to some of them now to talk to you about how it is to live in this area, which is one of the poorest London boroughs, and yet which is emerging with some fabulous creative ideas right now. And would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name's Anderley. overlooked as a borough um, and there isn't arts wise um, it's just not happening here and, it's, and I think it's been a fantastic opportunity and I think if, if we can go on to do better things I'm sure we could if we had the right tools to do the job. So this sort of funding would be phenomenally helpful because it means that we could reach uh, certainly 300 um, homes locally and, ha and how Big the impact would be of the beauty of those is, is something we're very excited about. Um, and living in Barking and Dagenham, as, as many of us have and do for a long time, what are your thoughts, Danny, about how it's been to live here and what difference brings involving imagination and the arts? Because I know that you're very active. Yes, uh, so I'm Danny Baxter. I'm um, um, one of the performers in the 1000 uh, Beautiful Balconies event that was put on. Um, yeah, um, I've actually been in the area for quite some time, living on the outskirts, and uh, at a certain point when Barking just got has kind of forgotten about, got shut down, and they put pedestrian precincts in everywhere well, around it, and I took out the cinema, and it's basically went dead, and it was just great, and that was that. And you forgot about it. What's been happening recently is there's been like some life injected back into the borough, and um, with some, the uh, diversity and the uh, demographics changing, there's been a lot of. Um, I guess it's been a shift towards people just celebrating their cultures all together. And uh, what I found very interesting is that um, Barking itself has been celebrating its own heritage into that mix and it's created a certain sort of um, identity for this place where we feel happy to be here, whereas before, you know, you're just living here because it's convenient or because you got stuck here. But now it's like people are getting very interested in wondering what's Barking and Dagenham doing? So uh, for me, that's a perfect opportunity to jump from you know art project to art project to network with this person and that person. And as this place gets regenerated and starts looking better and better, I think people are really looking for the future of hope. Whereas perhaps uh, maybe even like about ten years ago, people weren't thinking about it at all. Yeah. 
and we're in an area of tremendous um, migration, a very young population. So lots of people arriving and new communities emerging with all the things and the challenges that that brings with them, both for those that have been indigenous here and for those who have just newly arrived. I'd like to move over now to Jimmy, who is a local photographer. Jimmy, I don't know, you've got a lot of history of living all your life in the area. Is there something that you would like to share with the panel? Yeah, I'm Jimmy Lee, uh, photographer. Um, I've lived here 47 years, um, and it's never been like this. <laughs> uh, the last sort of five or six years, it's picked up a bit, like arts-wise and things like that. But I used to just go to work, and then like, just come up. I didn't know all this was going on. And it's like, I used to walk through Barking and not know anyone, like, even up to a year ago. But now, I walk through Barking, and I see Carol, I see Danny, the kids and all that, and it feels like you belong again, right, like, in a community and that. That wasn't there before. That, that just totally disappeared. So doing the balconies and people see, seeing people's reaction in the town centre because I was photographing it, people were actually stopping and talking to people they didn't know, wondering what was going on, and it's like brought people together. So I think it'd be really good to sort of progress it and expand on it, definitely. Thank you very much, Jimmy. That's brilliant. Um, Paul. Yep, yeah, uh, but actually, but my working title name is Gertrude Cass, and I'm a, like a, a local poet. Um, and I also did, uh, I worked on the balconies in the summer. Um, and one of the things, I mean, apart from local things, it's also about learning a bit of respect for your own doorstep. And, you know, by having this wonderful space, even though you may be two or ten floors up, and what you can do with it, because it, it can be your garden, you know. And just by having them and then going food, I've got a road tomato on my, on my back. Here. You know, I didn't plant it, it just planted itself. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. And, um, you know, and, it, and now it's just like a fixed place. Sorry about that. We had a momentary technological hitch. And I'd like to pass back to Gertrude Cohen, who's a local poet, to pick up where you were, Gertrude. Yeah. I was just saying about, you know, about having respect for your own doorstep and it's there actually on your balcony. And my philosophy is if you can actually learn to have respect for your own doorstep, you can have, learn to have respect for your neighbour's doorstep and then their neighbour's doorstep, whether it's on the balcony or not. But if there, the balcony is a gift. Thank you so yeah, much. So. That's brilliant. And Katia, you were going to add something too to, to, to what we've been saying, weren't you? Because you've been, Katia's a fantastic singer and did some singing from the balcony, didn't you? What, what would you like to say? Uh, my name is Katia. Um, I did some singing on a balcony's performance. We really loved being part of it and bringing the kids along. And Legacy got to do some singing as well. And uh, it was lovely to see how the community loved the experience as they walked past of everyone performing in the balconies. And it was really good meeting other creatives. And just the whole experience was really good. Thank you, Katia, that's brilliant. And I think last but not least is Julie, who um, was one of the artists who helped to facilitate the first little experiment into balconies. I'm Julie Wedge, I'm one of the artists working alongside Carol Cutrose. And it was nice to do the project because of the feedback that we got where people were saying, oh, you've now made me want to go and clear my balcony. And some people saying, oh, I'm really jealous now, I wish I could have a balcony. So it was really good feedback to have. I think that's everybody has said. Is there anything else that we've missed out? No. Well, thank you so much for the, taking the time to watch our video. Um, and we hope that with the images and the written submission, you will consider taking us forward to the next round. Thank you very much indeed.